Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Ricky Cox with Fourth Right Plumbing, the plumbers you can trust. Um, today we're going to be doing a flush of a tankless water heater and I wanted to document the experience so that maybe if you have a tankless water heater you can do it yourself. So step number one is you want to turn the, the power off to the water heater, which I've done so there's a switch here. So I turn that off. The next thing you want to look for is these are the isolation valves. So we're going to turn these isolation valves off. So that's the cold isolation valve and the hot isolation valve. And then you've got these ports on the side of the valve that need to be opened up. So we're gonna open those ports. And this is where our hoses are gonna to connect to from our pump. <clears throat> Got those open. And now what you need to do is in this bucket, I've got a, uh, a tankless water heater pump. You can use a submersible pump. Um, the main thing you're looking for is something that can go underwater and not burn out. So that's what I've got here. I'm just gonna position this so that it can reach the water heater inlet. So this is the outgoing. You want the outgoing of your pump to go into the cold water side and this valve is closed this valve is closed we will open them up once we start going so i'm gonna get that on there and i've got it tight perfect and then we need our return so your return hose is gonna go right here onto the hot water side isolation valve and you're gonna tighten this up and then this guy is gonna dump right into this bucket right here Okay, so this water, this pumps into the unit, goes through, comes back out the hot side, spits right back into the bucket. Now, we're using a solution that's called Haymaker. This is a uh, special formula uh, that's based on citric acid. It's non-corrosive, but it does a really good job at cleaning out the inside of the water heaters. We recommend you flush your tankless heater every year if you don't have a softener, and every two years if you do have a softener. Um, this particular house, uh, I believe this unit was installed in 2015 and it has not been flushed since then. So we're running a little behind, or at least the homeowners are, but we're going to fix that today. So I'm going to open this haymaker up. And we're just going to dump this whole bottle in there. Then the instructions say to add a gallon of water to the mix. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll continue the video. All right, so we've added a gallon of water to our haymaker solution and that's what we've got going on. It's a nice lime color. So again, just to recap, your outgoing from the pump goes into the cold water side. So we're gonna open this cold water valve and then it's gonna push through make its way through the coils and come back out on the hot water side, the return. So we're gonna open this and then we're gonna plug it in. We're gonna watch this thing do its magic. So what it's doing is it's gonna push all the air out first and then this, it's gonna go through the system It'll take about 30 to 45 minutes is what it's recommended to run for. And after that, it's going to push all the dirt and all the debris and all the scale and the lime and all that yucky stuff out of this water heater. And this water heater is going to have an increased uh, service life because of it. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, please like, share, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.